Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to my grab bag. As I'm recording this, last night was my cheat day. I ate a crazy amount of carbs and cheese, so if my face looks puffy and gross and disgusting, despicable and terrible, that's why. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're opening up another man tree. They liked my previous video, and I liked the hell out of their previous product, so I am super excited. On their website, it says, what is man tree? And it says, six amazing food products curated for you every two months. I will include a link to their website below. They are not paying me. This is going to be a legit legitimate review. So there's two boxes for this one. Uh, this uh, particular service mantry comes with a like a handmade wooden box. So we have to open up the overall box. Can I do it one handed? Come on. Come on. Oh, it's so close. You can do it, Vonnie. Yes, you can do it. Best accomplishment I've ever done in my whole life. Look at that. I've really tried hard not to look inside of here because as you can see this homemade uh, or handmade, whatever you want to call it, wooden box, it has a removable top like so and I had to sort of yank it out of the box. But uh, let's open this baby up. So as per usual, we're just going to take the magic hand and reach inside and grab whatever we can. The first thing is, oh, oh yeah, that's right, the card, the curator's lever, uh, curator's letter. We get like a little, like, little personal card there. Not personal because this isn't directly to me, but you know what I mean. Next up, I'm imagining this is the booklet that goes over everything that's inside of this box. Mantry, south in your mouth. Looks like we're going to get a bunch of southern goods alrighty and now for the good stuff let's grab the first item oh what in the world I'm gonna guess for each item that I grab as well this looks like it feels like a, a sort of cardboard pouch uh, there's like a little uh, clear slot on the front that you can see into I'm gonna guess this is smoke sausages I have no clue oh my god no oh okay goat milk caramels so there you guys go Fox Point Farm from Kellyton Alabama salted vanilla goat milk caramels. As I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of caramel, but uh, I do love trying new things, which is why this series exists in the first place. So let's give this baby a try. It looks exactly just like regular caramel. Holy shit, Mantry, what are you doing to me? You see, I had to write in a specific rule for my diet that when I get boxes of deliciousness from Mantry, from Munch Pack, from other things, I can enjoy them in moderation and it makes it so dang hard especially from the mantry because these are freaking amazing the best way i can describe these they're very similar to regular caramel except they've got it more uh, there's more of a creaminess to uh, to them there's more of a savoriness oh my god they're so amazing and there's so many oh my god this is like my little bag of drugs good thing i live on my, on my own or my mom would find it and be like what are these and i'd be like it's it's caramel mom calm down I'm going to put a little disclaimer here. I know I said this at the beginning of the video. They're not paying me at all. This is a legitimate review. They have just, so far, we've got six more or five more products to go. And, and so far, I, I'm, I'm ecstatic already. Mantry has delivered again. And, and I just want to make you guys understand, definitely, this is what I truly feel. There is no motivation for me to be over the top at all. Next up, we have something wrapped in bubble wrap which means it's probably a glass container. It's definitely got a cap on it. Last time they gave us a Bloody Mary mixer, which I actually never got around to using uh, because I looked on at the ingredients and it had sardines in it, and I just really wasn't feeling it, and uh, I didn't really have an opportunity to use it ever. This feels like definitely probably something similar. I'm going to say it's a... Uh, Margarita's not manly. Um, what's a manly mixing... What's a manly cocktail? Uh... I don't know. I'm going to say it's a jar of bitters for a Manhattan or for an old-fashioned or something. What in the world is this? Ooh. So we have Pink House Alchemy Sarsaparilla Small Batch Simple Syrup Handcrafted. Guys, what did I just say? There is a recipe on the side for a Sarsaparilla Manhattan, which is a cocktail uh, involving whiskey. I'm not sure. Or, or bourbon. Yeah, I'm not sure if it needs bourbon, but yeah. All right, let's give it a try. I know sarsaparilla is supposedly very similar to, like, root beer. I, I think they're different, but they taste the same, which, if you don't know, root beer is, like, vanilla. That's, like, a vanilla flavor, so I'm going to smell it. Oh, man, that smells weird. That How do I even describe that? Def definitely smells like vanilla, uh, more of, like, a spicy vanilla. Let's try this. This is a mixer, so you're not supposed to drink it straight up, but we can try it a little bit. Oh, my God, that is sweet. Wow, that is crazy sweet. Really rich vanilla taste. I will definitely be using this probably in one of the recipes it's given us. Uh, sarsaparilla cream soda. That sounds good. Sarsaparilla Manhattan. Uh, I'll probably go for the Manhattan just because I'm a 
dignified man. Really good though, really rich, really vanilla y. Um, I like it a lot. I like it better than the uh, Bloody Mary mix, which basically tasted like pizza juice, which isn't a bad thing, by the way. All right, next up. Oh man, this is a big package. Oh my God, you know what? I don't even, if it's just the same thing of toffee that we got before, this is bigger though. Okay, this is definitely, it's around Christmas time. I'm gonna guess this is uh, some popcorn sort of thing. So what we have is a bag of granola, Granola Jones Spicedelic, uh, hatch chilies and cranberries. Uh, that sounds right up my alley. I like spicy stuff. I like spicy and sweet stuff. I like salty and sweet stuff. Any combination of that. I like granola. Let's try them out. Man, like I just know I'm gonna love these. Like, you can't, you can't do me wrong if it's got spicy and if it's got sweet and if it's granola. It's, I, I'm, this is gonna be so hard, man. Already the great caramels and now this and and even how much? Uh, one, two, three. Did we open anything else? I guess we have three more things. Let's try it. Yeah, it's freaking good. It's actually way more subdued than I thought, which is nice. Uh, if any of you guys watch the stream, you know that there's a sort of little meme with the chili beer. Sometimes people donate money to get me to drink this horrible chili beer, and it's terrible. It's the worst chili combined with um, worst chili flavor combined with something else that you can imagine. This is the opposite. Um, this is subdued. You got that chili flavor. You also have obviously. It's like more more of a mild granola. It's not super sweet. You can tell there's not like a crazy amount of sugar in there. Um, it's like a sort of mild uh, granola. And then you got a very mild chili taste. And then you've got cranberries. It all combines into something really, really, really good. I'm always wary of that chili flavor, especially because of that beer. Um, but I've never tried hatch chili specifically. So now that I've tried it, I don't know if hatch chilies are a more subdued chili than other chilies. These are really, really, really good though. All right, right back at it. Oh, oh, I was thinking, are we going to get a cured meat? Because that's pretty much what's in every, I, I feel like every single man-oriented subscription box has a cured meat, at least one. It definitely feels like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it is. Uh, the thing we have to ask ourselves, is it a salami or is it a sausage? Uh, I'm going to say this is salami. Oh, it's pepperoni. Well, I guess it's sausage because it says Parma sausage, pepperoni, reserva. I forgot to turn on the light. The light makes everything focus. Look at that beautiful focus. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge fan of meat. Ha ha ha, Vanna's gay joke. Very easy to make. Don't be that guy. Uh, I love smoked meats, any kind of meat. Pepperoni is actually a favorite of mine. So I am probably going to like this quite a lot. Oh my God. Mantry can't keep getting away with this. Bitch. Amazing. It's good. It's crazy good. It's got pepperoni flavor. It's more reserved than I thought, though. Pepperoni is really, you can just taste how bad it is for you uh, with pepperoni and, and salami. This tastes more of like it's got a sausagey flavor along with it. I can't really, I'm not really good at uh, describing meat so well. But it's got that pepperoni flavor, but it also is sort of mixed in with like a little bit of a sausage flavor. The pepperoni flavor is prominent. It's just really good. Well, Mantry, I freaking love your box. We've still got two more things to go, I think, uh, unless I've consumed something unknowingly, which is probably very likely. Um, you completely sold me. I, I love. I think something just spit out. I'm not sure if it's gonna come on uh, camera. Come out on camera. Uh, send me as many boxes as you want, guys. I don't think you can disappoint me at this point. Let's go over the fifth item. Oh, we got another bottle wrapped item. Does that indicate another? liquid let's see let's use my sense of touch Ooh, ooh. this feels a little different though this feels like a hot sauce uh it's got a paper label it's got a, a longer neck um i'm gonna say this is a hot sauce but it can't just be any hot sauce what's it gonna use i'm gonna say ghost pepper but probably a subdued ghost pepper so that us uh, uh someone like me can enjoy it because i don't really like the super crazy hot uh hot sauce even though i do like spicy stuff what do we got red clay southern hot sauce verde i called it man i'm so good at this so it's actually bourbon barrel aged uh red clay southern hot sauce verde uh verde is actually my favorite type of hot sauce there's a local mexican place around me that uh, every single time i go even though i've been a million times the chick asked me uh would i like salsa and i'm like come on at this point you know i want salsa and they give you little a little thing of red salsa and they give you a little bit of green salsa 
and I happen to like the green salsa a lot more because it's a little bit more tart, I guess, a little bit more sour, and I'm a big fan of sour and the sour sensation. All right, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be one of those crazy hot hot sauces. I don't think it would be because the Mantry wouldn't want to kill me because I love their product so much, um, and they want me to keep reviewing them, I think. So let's just try a little tiny bit at first. I have no clue how hot this is gonna be. Oh shit, guys, I messed up. No, just kidding. It's actually pretty mild. Um, well, I call it mild. I eat a lot of spicy stuff, and this is probably definitely spicy to some people. No, oh, it is building a bit. <laughs> imagine if I, imagine if I really didn't realize that it was gonna build, and and then it cut to me like literally sweating and, and drenched. No, it's 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 pretty mild for me personally. Um, this is definitely spicy. People would consider this spicy. The flavor is what I'm interested in really 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 good i can't find complaints for like anything man it sucks because i want to give an honest review and it is honest but it, i feel like it's just coming off as like god yes man tree just thank you um this yeah it's great salsa it's pretty straightforward um it is more spicy than usual which i like um i like a little kick and uh yeah it just got that verde taste which like i said is i think it's made with tomatillos the green um uh tomatoes and uh, it's just your classic verde sauce uh, if you've ever been to a Mexican restaurant, if you've ever had the green sauce, uh, Chipotle has it too, I think. Yeah. Uh, so similar, uh, very solid, very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we should have one more product uh, already, though. You probably can get the consensus here that I'm going to devour all this stuff. I will literally eat every single drop and, and bit of all of this so far. So if there's something, maybe it's fish. If there's anything revolving around fish, I won't eat it. I won't even touch it. Well, I'll try it, but I'm going to hate it. So that would be the one thing. Let's let's see what it's going to be. Uh, oh, 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 it doesn't look like it's going to be fish or doesn't feel like it's going to be fish. This feels very much like a candy bar since it's from the south and south's the theme i wouldn't be surprised uh if it had some sort of like chili pepper i know that's big in the chocolate community um bam Ooh, oh what does that say rock rock -a bourbon cask age rock of virgin chocolate bourbon cask age bolivia 82 percent i know percentages of cocoa is or whatever is is important when tasting chocolate i'm not sure what a good in uh, like a good number is i'm assuming this is that because they're giving me gourmet products all right mantry bring it on home can't really do wrong with chocolate i think wow that's dark that's dark. That's probably real chocolate because it's got more of a subdued taste to it. It's not really, um, it, it just doesn't have that chocolatey flavor you would expect, even from dark chocolate. I think American dark chocolate, dark chocolate has more sugar added to it, most likely. Um, it's good. You can taste the quality in this. I honestly, with my American palate, prefer straight up like normal dark chocolate. This one is a more refined taste, but in my opinion, a more subdued background uh, chocolatey taste. And of course, they have this awesome illustrated book too. That's going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. That's everything. Um, as you can probably tell, I absolutely loved pretty much every single product. I, I'm looking for things to say that are negative so that it appears more unbiased but there's nothing man there's nothing the goat milk caramels were freaking delicious and creamy the salsa i'm definitely gonna use in some recipes you guys know i'm into cooking these days the sarsaparilla can't wait to try that in a delicious drink the granola oh my god this is gonna be gone by the end of the day no doubt and i hate that and then the chocolate you know while not my favorite type of chocolate it's still good oh we can't forget my meat i have to show you guys my meat too so yeah, it's all amazing. I love it. There's really not much more than I can say. Mantry, if you want to keep sending me these, please do. Uh, I use all your stuff in cooking and uh, I eat all your other delicious stuff and uh, I love your product. Again, if you guys would like to check them out, the website is below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.